Hey guys, welcome to Knot of the Week. Today we're going to be going over one of the more intimidating things you can do with a rope, which is splicing. So today, as you can see, we'll be demonstrating the eye splice. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so to start an eye splice, the first thing that I've done to really kind of give myself a training aid and something I'd highly recommend as you're getting into learning how to uh, splice, especially an eye splice, is to get some different colored electrical tape. This is available at the hardware store in a, you know, kind of a multi-pack with some other colors too. I kind of went with the old primary color standby so I could kind of talk through each, each actual strand of this as it gets threaded through the correct way. So the other thing I've done too, which is something you'll want to do regardless of whether you choose to do a training aid for this or not, is to tape up the ends. So you'll want to have a tape mark at your start point on the standing part of the line, and then a tape mark to kind of hold this together on the working end of your line. So this will be our working end, and what I've done here is put a, you know, a piece of black electrical tape on here, and what that does is it actually holds this together. So if you've ever kind of looked at manila rope or undone the end of it, uh, it will come apart pretty easily and that's one of the, the benefits of how we're able to do an eye splice too, but just a kind of a heads up with natural fiber rope, it'll want to just come undone. So what we're going to be using is kind of the natural curve of, of each of those lines that are braided together to kind of weave back into itself to create the eye splice. So the kind of mnemonic device that I've kind of come up with uh, is, is kind of an under motion with each of the lines. So using, you'll pick out a line first as your start point. So I'm going to use this strand here as my start point. And what I'll do then is kind of lift up on the opposite or to the left on that strand. So this is, I'll start with blue. So I'll go blue, red, yellow is my order that I'll, that I'll take with this. So I'm going to lift up on that strand to the left of my start point. So this is my starting point strand, lift up to the left and go underneath until I get to that kind of curve in that line right there and that's where I'll stop. So then I'll flip this over. So now I'll come to the next side here and now this will be my next strand and so meaning that if I was starting from scratch this would be my starting line. So I'm going to now pull up on this side and go under. And again kind of locking that up until it comes to that natural curve and then flip again and now there's only one strand left to really work with here, so that's the one I'm going to go under with the yellow strand. So that is the first step there. So you can see I've kind of gone underneath on each one of those. And I'm just going to kind of scoot these up to lock those in a little more. Now I'm going to start again, uh, starting back from the blue strand. And I'm going to do the same thing. So this is now going over this line. So I'm going to pull up on this strand here and go underneath. So have something that looks like this now. So it went over that strand. Again, flip it, lift up, and now I'm going over that strand with the red. Again, twist, flip up, and now I'm going over this strand with the yellow. And then now I'll come back to my start point again and I'll do the same process again. Lift up, going over that strand, flip, lift up, and go over that strand. And last but not least, I'll flip again, and go over that strand. And then when all is said and done and it's all cleaned up, this is kind of the pattern that you'll merge with. So you can see that those lines really kind of went back right into place. So that natural curve in the line of where those lines were to begin with kind of uh, sticks with that flow. So the other thing you can do if you wind up with a bunch of slack and you kind of have nowhere to go, you don't want to continue to weave this in for whatever reason, you're tired of it. Um, you could actually just you know wrap a piece of tape to kind of finish that off or you could wrap some type of whipping around that to finish it off as well. But what you've got now is an eye splice and you can take this other side of the rope now and put it through to actually create like something like a cow hitch um, for hanging a rope or something like that. So this is great for creating your own climbing rope because then you can you know throw it over something like that and now you've got a way to anchor it. And that is how to tie the eye splice. 
Stay tuned for a new Knot of the Week every Tuesday, and if you're enjoying what we're doing here on our Knot of the Week series, please consider joining the Crew Leader membership linked below in the description. Thanks for watching.